guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I'm here today for my March mini challenge video. If you have not seen my other videos on this mini challenge, I will actually link one of them for you right here, but I'll also link some others in the space below. Instead of doing New Year's resolutions like where you choose a goal and you carry it out over the whole year, I like to do a different challenge for each month. And the challenges are good for mind, body, or soul. And each one is something that you just try to carry out throughout the month in the hopes that you will begin to develop a habit that you keep going with for the year. And so anyway, the first one I did for January was for hydration and drinking a certain number of glasses of water every single day. And then I'm, I've been keeping that up since January. And then February's challenge was a month of pampering. How many of you did that with me? I had so much fun with this challenge. I just chose different things to kind of, you know, just self-care sort of things. And so I got out a lot of products that I had that I hadn't been using very much, like face masks or eye masks or hair masks. Uh, also, um, well, I did one bath but that didn't go very well because in the apartment that we're currently living in, we have these two really nice tubs, but our water heater in the apartment is so small that I get about six inches of, of warm water in the tub with me in it and then it goes to cold. So that didn't work very well. It ended up being more of just a lower body soak. So I just did that one time. I also went and got a massage and I got acupuncture done twice. And it was so fun because every day, I was looking at, you know, the stuff I had, a microdermabrasion scrub and, you know, a lip mask and a lip scrub and different things. And I would think, what am I going to do today? And on some days I would even do more than one thing. So today is the 27th. Tomorrow I have today and tomorrow for my, my last two things. But I've been thinking, you know, I'm going to leave some of these products out on my counter so I remember to use them. And if you want to see what some of those products were that I used, then be sure to watch my empties video for February that will be coming out soon. And I'll show you the things that I used up during that time. There were a lot of products that I couldn't have used up in a month, but they were just really fun to use and just nice to do something nice for myself every day of the month. So, and I also tried out some different blends for essential oils in my diffuser just to have kind of a nice relaxing scent. I chose probably 15 different essential oil di um, diffuser blends that are for relaxing. And it was really a, just a nice thing to do every day. So uh, anyway, that was a really fun one. Now, March. You're not going to want to do the same exact thing that I'm doing in the month of March, but I'll give you my idea of how you might do the challenge for March. So what I'm going to do in March is challenge myself to play my guitar. Actually, I have three guitars. I'm looking over at them because they're sitting over in their, in their cases. And I used to play the guitar a lot. And I got to a point where I was working on a degree and I was so busy with taking classes that I just stopped playing the guitar. And after I finished my degree, I just never got back into it. And I used to, I used to love playing the guitar and singing and even writing songs. And um, I loved doing it. I was good at it. And I just haven't developed that habit of getting back into it again. And so I've decided that for the month of March, I'm going to play my guitar at least five days a week. So I'm going to get one of them out, put it on its guitar stand, keep it out in the living room where I see it and I remember to play it every day and just kind of hopefully get back into it so that when the month of March is over, I will have developed a habit and I'll want to play my guitar more often. So what are you going to do? Well, if you're like me and you haven't played a guitar in a while, that might be a good challenge to do. But what I would really encourage you to think about is what is something that you used to do a lot of and you were probably good at it and for whatever reason you just stopped doing it. So maybe you used to cook a lot more than you do or maybe there was a certain kind of recipe that you used to fix frequently and you want to do, you know, maybe a different recipe that you loved do one a week or something. Um, maybe you were uh, an avid walker and then you've stopped doing that. Whatever, but I would just encourage you to think about something 
quilting, knitting, whatever that you loved doing and you've gotten away from and that you're going to take the month of March to do it a certain number of days a week. So if you're going to follow along with me on this challenge, I would love to hear from you. So please comment in the space below and tell me what it is that you plan to do in March. So at the, toward the end of March, I'll be back to tell you how my guitar playing went. Maybe I'll play something for you on my guitar and uh, we'll see if I can get my fingers back to being coordinated. And I'm going to have to build, build up calluses again too on the ends of my fingers. That's kind of how it goes because it hurts at first when you play guitar and you, and you don't have any calluses. So, but anyway, uh, so maybe I will even play a song for you when I come back at the end of March. And then I'll tell you about the April challenge. So like I said, please leave a comment in the space below if you're going to follow along with me. I'd love to hear what you're going to do. And I'd love to see you again on Busy Being Jen. So if you're not a current subscriber, hit that button right there and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is pretty often. I have videos about beauty product reviews, empties, my mini challenges, um, unboxings, and I also have vlog videos that go, go up pretty much weekly. So I hope you'll follow along with me on Busy Being Jen, and I'll see you soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.